Okay, friends, in our next lesson, we are going to practice finding perimeter on rectangles and squares. So the first shape I have for you is a rectangle. I've gone ahead and labeled all of your sides. So we have six inches and six inches, and then two inches and two inches. Remember, opposite sides on rectangles are equal. So when we find perimeter, we wanna add the length of all the sides. I like to go ahead and start with my doubles. So I have six and six. When you add six plus six, you get 12. So I'm gonna record 12. And then when you add two plus two, you get four. When we add those two together, we come up with 16. And the way we were measuring was inches. So we wanna make sure that we label our answer with inches. So our perimeter for this rectangle was 16 inches. Over here I have a square. Now with squares, remember all sides are equal. So each one of my sides are labeled three centimeters. I wanna add all the sides. So I'm going to add three four times. So three plus three plus three plus three. When you add all the sides, you come up with 12 and don't forget your label, centimeters. Now, sometimes you are going to get a shape and only two sides will be labeled. So let's say that you have a rectangle and they have labeled this side four inches and they labeled this side one inch. And they want you to find the perimeter for that. Don't forget, when you are finding perimeter, you need to add the length of all the sides. So even though only two are labeled, we still need to add in the other two. Think about rectangles. Remember, opposite sides are equal. So if this side is four, here's the opposite side. This side will be four inches. If this side is one inch, this side will be one inch. Okay, so now that we've labeled the missing sides, we're ready to find the perimeter. So again, I'm gonna do my doubles. I've got four plus four, that would be eight. And then I have one and one, that's two. When I add them together, I come up with 10 inches. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to give one a try. Let's say that you have a rectangle and this side is three inches and this side is five inches. I'm only giving you the two sides. Don't forget, you need to start first by writing down your missing sides and then find the perimeter. Okay, now's the time I want you to pause the video. Go ahead and try this rectangle, find the perimeter, and then you can unpause it and we'll work through the problem together. All right, let's go ahead and solve this one. So first thing that you needed to do was label the missing side. So if this side is five, that means this side is five. If this side is three, then the opposite side is three. And now we're ready to add up the length of all of our sides. So five plus five is 10, three plus three is six, when I add those together, I come up with 16 inches. All right, good job. 